Okay. Hey, everybody. Uh, so you'll see my whole, like, this is part of the training. I know, like, it might look, feel ridiculous to some of you. Uh, it did to me in the start as well. And we had a whole like spirit week, week at work. For those of you who don't know me, um, I work in childcare. So our, we had, um, what was our first day? Oh, Christmas pajama day. And I wore like this onesie pajama outfit. And then on Friday was ugly sweater day. So I wore this exact thing, except I had an elf hat on instead of my reindeer antlers and different color scrunchies. So, and you know, I never wear my hair up ever. And then I did 12 days of giveaways on my group in December and I had different headgear on every time. So I made it fun. And they, my customers started popping on just to see what I was wearing. So like tonight I have these, these reindeer antlers and these silly scrunchy pom-poms that literally like they just go, I bought them for my kid. And then I was like, Hey Peyton, I need to steal your scrunchies. So I got it all at the dollar store. So it was super cheap. It's super fun. Uh, I have these ones that got a lot of compliments. So they're like reindeer. I would wear these with like normal hair, but they're reindeer antlers with little bobbles. Ouch. Um, I had this super cute little elf hat that I wore. And I'm just going to put them in a bucket and they're going to be like, I'm going to get them, use them for next year too, right? Like they're all, I'm going to save them. So then it's year after year after year, you can still use them. And it's super cute. I had, uh, oh, this one's out of reach a little bit, but I had um, a Santa hat that had a princess crown on it that I can't put on with my ponytails, but like it was super cute. And then I had a simple bell, like headband. So I switched it up like every day. It didn't matter. And then I had other reindeer antlers that I let Emily wear to school on Friday and she broke them. So, <laughs> but whatever, they were like two or $3 at Dollarama and a business write-off. So it really didn't matter. The kids were bugging me to wear stuff. So I let them. Uh, but when I did my 12 days giveaways, I wore something different every time. And then like, this was my ugly sweater and people followed just to see what kind of crazy hat I had on that next day. So it also gained interest as well as, and then I would do my live demo wearing this gear. So I would talk about like, um, if I talked about the lip primer and then lip gloss or the lipstick, I would talk about them all in my demo wearing whatever it is that I had on. And I would just do it the same way. So boxing day is around the corner. Um, and I was, I'm, sure of what I was going to do because I just ran a Black Friday sale. I just ran um, my 12 days of giveaways and Christmas deal. So I had a different deal every day for 12 days. So I've decided that for Boxing Day, there's a couple different options that I've seen done and a couple that I've done because I've been with the company for eight years now. And one that is super popular popular is same as the Black Friday that I've seen a lot of people post where like between 5 a.m. and 7 a.m. you save this amount of money, this amount percent, like 30 being the top, and then go it go down from there. So, you know, the the longer they wait to place their order, the lower the discount that they obtain. Uh, what I just tried for the first time on Black Friday, which I'm going to do again for Boxing Day, which was super successful, is I went live every hour on the hour starting at noon, from noon until seven, I went live 
doing a new product demo. So at 12 o'clock, one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock, and seven o'clock was the last one. I did a new product demo and a new deal every hour for seven hours. So I had to be home, which typically I am anyway, right? Like we're not going anywhere. We're not doing anything. And I think it's going to get worse tomorrow. So, um, yeah, you're going to be home. You're going to be there. Why not do a different demo? And all I did was I went into my office and I looked on my shelves to see, okay, so I have 10 boxes of biocellulose masks. I want to move some of those. So I went on live. I did a demo of my biocellulose mask and I bought them, you know, a few months ago when they were on sale anyway and offered them for whatever the discount was that I did. I can't remember how much the price was now, but you know, or you can just do a straight up like 25% off. This is what you're doing. Or, you know, the regular retail price for this. So you're going to do that. Like, you know, decide what you want to give your customers before going on and look in your office and see what you want to move. Because if you have, you know, 10 foundation primers that are going to expire May 2021, you want to get those out of your office and into your customers' hands because they need to start using those before they're going to expire. So same with CC cream has an expiry date. Uh, any of the volume from day creams are the time-wise day cream. The travel set um, skincare, those would be a good one because they all have expiry dates. So have a look for those of you who carry inventory. And if you don't carry inventory, look at, you know, Mary Kay's top 10 items and pick seven of them and do it. If you, if you want to do it for the seven hours, like I'm going to, um, <clears throat> sorry, you don't have to do it for the seven hours. Maybe you want to run it from if you're a morning person, which I am not, so mine start at noon. By the time I get up and, you know, do my regular routine with kids and cook breakfast and whatever, like, if it's my day off, I'm lucky to be ready and rolling by 10 or 11 o'clock. So I started at noon so that I look cute. I have all my stuff on. I'm ready to go. And then I do my demos. So it'll be the same kind of thing. You know, if you have those, maybe you have discontinued items that you want to move. If you ordered a bunch of those, um, uh, the hand cream and lip gloss or lip balm sets, and you still have some that are now two out of three of the scents are sold out online, put those on a, a deal, show them off. The lip balms, regular retail price for $16. The hand cream is only 0.5 ounces smaller than our regular hand cream and they're getting it for an extra five dollars like it's a steal of a deal so if you know if you have a bunch of those it, say it like that get excited about your products get excited about what you're like <laughs> I went to leave the house to go for work and looking very similar and I was like oh boy but I had done my 12 days of giveaways and had such good feedback that I was like I don't care what I look like I really don't. It was fun. It was festive. And to be honest, everyone loved it. Loved it both at work, like on my day job and when I was going live. So win-win for everybody. And then the more they watched to see what I ridiculous thing I had on my head, they were the more they were excited to watch the videos. And then they would comment and then I got orders because they were watching me do the demos. So it's win-win for everybody, right? I know it might be stepping out of your comfort zone just a little bit because even though I love doing live videos, it was definitely stepping out of my comfort zone. Um, I never wear my hair up. I think it looks ridiculous. But you know what? 
it was fun. I had fun. And when I have fun, my customers have fun. And when they have fun, they want to buy more. So it's a win-win for everybody. Okay. Um, does anybody have any questions like about, I feel like I've just been kind of going on and on and on. Questions first before I go on to the next thing. Ash, I have a question. Do okay. you, for the every hour that you have deals, at the end of the hour, is that deal over or do you carry them? You carry them until seven. I carry them all day and then they have until midnight to place the orders. And then after that, it's over. And then I do a draw the next day for everyone who has purchased something goes into a draw for a free little goodie bag into their order from me. Okay, thanks. And then I go live the next day and say, you know, thanks to XYZ. I show my little wheel, I do a little spin and, and then I have a, somebody who wins. And I just put like, it's tiny, like stuff I want to get rid of in my uh, inventory or if I like I have lots of cosmetic bags still um, that you know we got with free gifts of purchase mm -hmm. I still have socks from mint bliss like it, it just stuff that you you know if you've been especially if you've been with the company for a couple of years and you have the things left over then right. wrap it up cute last time all they got in my 12 days giveaways they're their free little goodie was uh, either this, depending on if they were a brand new customer or not, I did a facial in a bag. So there's a sample of our skincare, a sample of either microderm abrasion or a charcoal mask, a chocolate, and then a book wrapped up with like a little bobble. And that was it. I even posted these on my page in my VIP group if they wanted to refer a friend who they thought would like to be gifted this. And then I gave it to them for them giving me their phone number and stuff too. So, and then I would give them their facial in a bag and then I had their contact info so that I could follow up with them and see how they liked it. And I ended up with two new skincare customers over like the four bags that I gave out. So prizes are simple. It's stuff that can increase business. Um, like I said, this 12 days, I wrapped up a hand cream in those little, um, the mini, I don't have any left, but the mini Mary Kay, the ones that like peel and stick with a candy cane. That's all they got. Mini hand cream, candy cane. What do they cost us? Like 80 cents plus a hand cream that costs or plus a candy cane that are like 50 of them for two bucks. And they, I had customers texting me, oh, that's so cute. Like they loved it. So the other thing, like we're only on the 20th of December. We still have the 21st, 22nd, 23rd and 24th because we all know that people procrastinate Christmas shopping and who are the worst? for last minute shopping. <laughs> I've been done for a long time, but like typically, who do we think are the worst last minute shoppers? They're men. Men, who said that? I did. Janet, yeah, 100% men are the world's worst last minute shoppers. And they appreciate when they can say, okay, I want to spend a hundred dollars on my wife, make it cute and deliver it to my doorstep. They're done. So reach out to all those men that, you know, because like I said, we all know they are still not done. It's only the 20th of December. They have a few more days to go. And right now, what has been super popular with me and my customers is I've wrapped up a hand cream, a hand sanitizer, and a hand soap, put it in a cute little gift basket, and it's done because everyone's hands are super dry. 
we all know and love our hand sanitizer for that reason. And same with the hand soap. So everyone can use all those things right now. And it only costs what? 30, 35, $36 plus tax. So you can still get a reasonable gift basket out of it. And you know, fits with what's happening in the world right now. Throw in a skincare sample or a lip gloss sample and you know, those fun things, wrap it up cute and away you go. Ash. If their budget's a little higher, add a travel size skincare. Ask them, I mean, men typically probably won't know what kind of skincare their wives have, but you know, throw in a travel size and bump up their basket a little bit. Ashley, men do wait to the last minute. It was two hours ago. I got an order yeah. for 100. So they do. 100%. Men are the worst. <laughs> so reach out to, or reach out to your, your girlfriends who you know have husbands that need to buy for them and say, you know, Give me your wish list and what's your hubby's phone number? I can text them, put a little bug in their ear and, you know, just say. So I was talking to Janet yesterday and she mentioned she might like X, Y, Z. Like, are you done Christmas shopping for her or can I help you out? And it's only the 20th. So they're probably going to say, oh, yeah, yeah, please help. Help me. This is what my wife wants. Great. I had a, a fellow, um, I only know her through direct sales and we have a mutual friend and she sent me a voice memo yesterday and she's like, you live in this, cause she lives in Alberta. She says, any chance you know what her address is? She is an amazing single mama who is busting her butt every day for her son and has gone through quite a bit in the last year. And, but I know she's a good customer of, of this lady who contacted me and she said, you know, I want to send her something through Amazon either, you know, I don't know if she likes that diamond art, whatever that, that I see posted. I don't even know what it is, but apparently it's all the range. She's like, or a self-care package of some kind that I can, you know, direct ship right to her door. And I was like, Whoa, guess what? I saw Mary Kay self-care is like my middle name. I can totally help you. And when she was wanting to order off Amazon, we ended up working out a, a really good deal that, you know, a friend of mine is going to get a great package delivered to her doorstep on Wednesday morning. And I was scared to be like, to offer it almost like I kind of had to, I don't know. Cause she's like this big, I know she's high up with her company and she does a lot of promos and whatever. And I just thought like self-care. Hello. That's me. Like I can do that. So there's still lots of people shopping. And the best part is, is if you have the inventory, it can be wrapped up and done right away. Anybody have any other questions? No. Nope. Well, that was really all I had for tonight. Just like have fun with it. Go out. You know, I <laughs> I wouldn't ever have thought I would be live, never mind like teaching as a director looking like this. Um, however, it's fun and people like it and you don't have to go as extreme. That's why like I thought I'd just pop on with everything on all at one time. Um, start with something simple like, you know, when I had my have my hair down, like these little jingle bells. It's simple, it's festive, it's cute. 
Like it doesn't have to be a lot and people still want to, they'll want to follow you and want to see what you're doing. Is there, do you guys have like Janet and Marcy? I think those are still the only two consultants. Do you, do you have like inventory you want, like you feel like you've been stuck with for a while or like, do you need ideas on how to move something? I still have inventory and I figured on Boxing Day, I was going to do specials with mystery bags. Oh yeah. Also super fun. Wrap one up to have a demo to show. Yeah. while you're you're talking about them and get them excited for that uh, it's okay if i just jump on here for a minute yeah so i do want to confirm what ashley is saying about the fun <laughs> uh accessories um i did the exact same thing for my 12 days of giveaways and i got compliments all the time on what i was wearing um i didn't go as far as the sweaters though but that might be on my list next year <laughs> um but definitely glasses i had fun glasses headbands yeah there's lots of there um second thing i want to ch chat about for men, so I know this has been popular in the past is like, we call them like a trunk show or pop-up show. Uh, fill your trunk with some pretty baskets already made up. And to hit the men's spots would be like construction sites, mechanic shops, see if they need any help with their Christmas shopping. Uh, I mean, I've got a railway down not far away. There's always guys hanging out at the railway um, tracks. Um, so CP rail, like there's just think of where men work. And if you know any male nurses, uh, chances are they don't have time to shop because we're being called every single day to come into work. That's another person you can help out. Um, yeah. There's just think of, you know, where just say, can I pop, pop by, have some hot chocolate in a thermos, right? Uh, give them a, a cup of hot chocolate and they can shop from the trunk of your car, right? Anyone else have some questions or suggestions that works for them? Gas stations, right? It's always guys hanging out at the gas stations. <laughs> Anyone else want to pop on with ideas before we close? Okay. No. no, that's okay. all. All right. So Merry Christmas, everyone. Yeah. I I know I know we're going to be going into shutdown on Christmas Eve, unfortunately, but. Um, continue doing your virtual like i i personally think this week is important for you guys to be on virtual every day or every other day doing something like just spreading some christmas cheer even with your little antlers or whatever it is so that the next week when we do go on sh shutdown they're going to be watching you guys if you are on there doing something for boxing week every yeah you know right because they're going to be watching you so let this be a build up to next week when you're going to be on there. Moving stuff out of your inventory for the end of the year because I can't yeah. wait to count my inventory because I know I got less <laughs> than last year. <laughs> it's been a huge, huge year for all of us. Huge sales. Yeah. So, yeah. Awesome. Okay. All right. And we'll see you guys in the new year, January 3rd with the beautiful Tiffany. Woohoo! Bye, Merry, Christ Merry Christmas, everybody. We appreciate yes, Merry all you Christmas. guys. Yeah, we appreciate you.